When choosing wood for the Ophir, the most important element is that the wood is dry. Humidity creates smoke. Oven dried wood is preferred as it produces hardly any smoke. We recommend beech, but also oak and fruit tree wood are suitable. Avoid tropical hardwood, as this results in extremely high temperatures. The first fire stacking technique is called the Swiss method. We also named it the Jenga way. It starts with placing two or three logs parallel with the bark on the outside. Start by layering the two largest logs in the fire pit parallel with one another. Stack the next two biggest logs centered perpendicularly across the first two. Continue stacking in this fashion at least three layers high. Light the fire in the middle. Once burning, it will stay lit for a very long time. To build a teepee fire, our second fire stacking method, place some small kindling in the center of the cone. Form a teepee around the fire nest with the tinder sticks, with the bark on the outside. Now, form a teepee over the tinder with the kindling. Start by arranging two pieces opposite each other, so they form a triangle over the tinder. Do the same thing with two other pieces of kindling, so that the four pieces form a pyramid with a square base. Lay the rest of the kindling against this frame to form a small walled teepee. Leave an opening facing the wind. The Ophir Buffadoo set is your perfect aid to further minimize smoke after igniting. With the poke, you can easily organize your logs. In case you use the pizza oven, grill, or skewers, you can use the poker of the Buffadoo set to spread out and decentralize the burning logs. In the Ophir 100 models and Ophir XL, you can position the logs in order to create a greater difference in warmth zones. In general, the outside of the plate is less warm, colder than the center. To extinguish smoldering fire, place the snuffer. Do not lift the snuffer anymore until fully extinguished. If there are still flames in your cone, first spread the remaining wood or coal and only place the snuffer afterwards.